Yes, hello and welcome to another video. It might work this, but I don't know because it's quite a busy bloody street. Not the best day to be honest, it's a bit wet. Uh, but I've got myself, I took my, my actual bike, my 2013 plate GS um, to uh, BMW for a major service up and I chose because it's raining and it has been doing it all day. Um, basically what it is is I'm going to, um, I decided to take out the GSA, an R1250, mine's an R1200 GS, this is an R1250 GSA um, which is amazing. It's a lower one as well so it's lower seating position. The good things about the few things that about uh, that are different compared to mine. Obviously the price has been sixteen and a half thousand and mine being about nine and a half, nine ish thousand is um, first of all you have the uh, windscreen which is an optional um, is obviously adjustable via the um, via that. It's adjustable via that. Um, that's just uh, I don't really like it's too big for me, but you know that's just the way it is. You can, obviously, you get a, you get a better one, you get a smaller one if you wanted to. You don't come with the um, the wind the light guard, which is good. Um, my other one came with uh, don't come with um, these lights as standard. Then the minor aftermarket is a bit crap. These lights, it does obviously come with these uh, these uh, engine bars and the bars in general. Um, one good thing I'm happy about with these is that it has a um, keyless engine, keyless, uh, you can fill the tank up like that, but that has, that has to be off. It's keyless thing, it's got a TFT. It has a little storage area, but I wouldn't, I would suggest that I wouldn't leave your key in there because if you walk away and forget about it, someone could ride off with your bike. I do quite like the styling. It does have an Akrapovich uh, exhaust, which one good thing I do like, which is actually very helpful in this time of day, because it's October now, is the fact that the heated seats are actually, the seats are actually heated along with the, um, the handlebars heated. You can adjust them to one to five, uh, you know, one, one to five uh, heat sink. So if you want, if you want um, a nice uh, warmish bum to keep you warm, and you, and you, it's not just the used to on my bike. There was one or two that's hot and not hot and warm. This one has five different things. So depending on how you want it, depending whether you like it hot, cold, average, it's all good. Um, obviously, with mine, you get the. Um, with my current one, you get a, a, an expandable top box. But on this one, it's a different one. You can't get. It. You have to have the metal ones, but there are only two sizes, two sizes for these uh, these top boxes now. Um, the metal, which I'm not really too keen on them, but you do get it's more sturdy. Um, it's metal, so you're going to grabs on there and there apparently. Better um, secure for going off road. But I personally prefer the expander ones. But if I couldn't get them, if I got a new one. I don't think I'll be getting that one 22 plate. I think we'll probably get like a 17 plate for like 10 grand maybe. Something like that. Instead of like paying 16 grand for one. It is a very good bike. Um, I, I've enjoyed it. I haven't had it for very long. I haven't been able to see what it's done. Like, it's been raining a lot like it is now. So it's just one of those things. It does still again have the um, adjustable suspension. So obviously you have various suspensions. So you have different modes. So where is it? You have rain. Rain, road, dynamic, enduro plus, and rain again. And what are these? Well, rain obviously it's raining. Road is because it's normal. Uh, dynamic is basically you want all the power. If you want to go a bit of speed more than road. It's very very dry in the summer. You put it on on a road. I mean a dynamic, and then if you want to go enduro mode, dynamic plus or enduro, you go off road with that. That's what that's about. Um, obviously the keyless entry is there, which I'll turn off in a second. They haven't left me much fuel, I spent 8 quid in, because I left me with 30 miles and in the tank, but oh well. Um, it is raining today, I am going to get my bike done in about half an hour to collect the other one. But, uh, what do you think? I quite like the new wheels, I do quite like those. Um, I was going to get these these for my um, for my bike, but the, it's costly to get it installed, it's about 
three to four hundred quid just to buy them getting installed. I'm not doing that. I'd rather just, just what's the point? I'm not paying just for lights. I've got lights already. I don't need them. I do quite like these a bit more. These lights. These um, um, hand wind protectors. These call mine are black. They're white. I'm not sure I like the white ones, but it does it. It is in keeping with the colour of the bike. I don't think I'd get this colour myself the bike I think I'd probably go for a, 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 there's some blue ones they've got a really nice blue ones but would I get this bike I do quite like this 1250 GS I think I probably would buy one for my next bike I don't think I'd get a super bike because I think I'll get one of these but uh, yeah there you go and out pretty fucking good bike to be honest isn't it like 